I'm Cheryl Miller. A female bicyclist is in the hospital this afternoon after being hit by an SUV this morning. Thanks to several bystanders, she was pulled from underneath that vehicle. CBS 6's Jake Burns is live now in the fan with more details. It is our top story at noon. Jake. Well, Cheryl, the accident actually happened right back here behind me on Monument, and you can still see some of the markings from where police are continuing this investigation. It's, in pretty, it's a pretty incredible story about how this actually happened. If it wasn't for a quick reaction by bystanders... It may have been worse, yes. A bicyclist shoe lay in the middle of Monument Avenue, only feet away from her shattered helmet. Something you don't see every day. The cyclist was heading west on Monument, the SUV south on Mulberry, when it came to a stop sign. Looked both ways, claimed that the morning sun had a lot of glare, pulled out, the bicycle was still westbound, struck the bicycle in the center of the intersection, dragged the bicyclist approximately 15 feet underneath the vehicle and stopped. The bicyclist was trapped underneath the SUV. You can see handprints on the side of it where several passers-by lifted the vehicle off of her. And managed to actually push the vehicle up a little bit and slide the bicyclist out. Kind of miraculous those people were there and they responded that way. Police say charges against the driver are pending. So visibility is always a little tricky in the fan. This is not the first accident as a result of sun glare. So I guess the sun's rising perfectly to the east and drivers can't see very well. The cyclist was conscious when she was taken to the hospital. Even though this appears to be an accident, Fan resident Julian Posey says it's also a reminder. I inch forward, I look, I, I take two, two looks, you know. So yeah, it makes you have to be more aware, um, more present. Now, Richmond police say they are continuing their investigation into this incident. And if you actually saw it, you're actually asked to call Sergeant David Sealander. His number is 513-3647. We just got an update on the victim's condition. We we're told she's suffering from serious injuries, but Cheryl, she is expected to be okay. All right, thank you, Jake, and we'll, of course, continue to follow her condition.